Oh, hi everyone. G'day. Uh, I, we've had a busy week just passed again and uh, we're looking ahead to the sort of short week uh, leading up to Easter. So, um, Andrew, I understand the soil chemistry lectures are underwell. I have. I, I actually have delivered the lectures in person. So, you know, <laughs> my, my ancient ageing Mac actually got better at the beginning of this week. And uh, I'm very pleased about that. So, yeah, we've started soil chemistry in earnest. And um, we will actually start uh, this week the soil chemistry labs. Um, now, Louise has probably got a bit more to say to you about that, but I'm looking forward to, to doing soil chemistry in labs as well as uh, having finished soil physics, which is great. Yeah, yeah um, so the soil chemistry labs will be done in rotation like we did for the soil physics labs, and details of which lab your group are doing I have are already uploaded on LMS in the same document where the soil physics labs details were provided as well. So please take a look uh, before you come to your first lab next week. Now, we haven't done videos this time, Andrew. No, well, many of the techniques you will have used already. So you've measured pH in the field. That's pretty straightforward. The only thing you haven't really done is use of the digestion equipment that you're going to use for organic carbon measurement. Uh, but I, I think we'll pr just provide a few photographs to show you what things are. There's there's not a lot of benefit to us in, in running a video. We can't do a digestion on a video. Well, we could, but it'll take a long time. So yeah, no videos. I think you're you're you know big enough and, and experienced enough now with soil science uh, practicals. Plus, you know how to lead, read the lab manual um, that you can get ready for it in another way. Yeah, so you'll be right. Just make sure like you have been doing, read your lab manual before you turn up. And if you've got any questions before you start, ask demonstrators. So um, we will have uh, Andrew and myself demonstrating, uh, but also Enoch um, Wang. So we say goodbye to Mary Ann because she's off traveling and we say hello to Enoch who you would have met um, possibly during the field trip. Now, there's one exception to that, Andrew. Yes, my, my prac is, I assume you're referring to that. My prac is a, a calculation-based prac, kind of, and you'll do the practical work for it beforehand. It's a an extraction um, of soil to measure cation exchange capacity, but it needs to be done... Um, in advance because of the length of time the extraction takes so you'll prepare that in other labs yeah so the week before you do your cc cec lab we'll get you to actually weigh your soil samples um and then go and get them analyzed for you so when you meet with andrew he'll have your data and um, that means you can really focus Absolutely. on the calculations and think about what cation exchange capacity means so that will be a nice sort of change yeah. Um, the other thing that I just needed to let people know was also that um, next week I will be away. I've told you this a few times now. but uh, So Kirsty Brooks will be running the soil pH lab next week. But uh, after you return from the mid-semester break, uh, I'll be back in the lab doing the soil pH um, labs. So mm. just keep that in mind. All these people travelling around, Louise... Marianne, uh, let some of us get to stick around UWA. It's all right. Andrew gets to travel too, especially next year, I next do. semester. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so that's all good. Uh, the other thing to remember for uh, next week is that your data upload is due. Now, I've explained in an email and I've also explained in the labs how to go about this. Um, so really, you shouldn't have any problems, especially if you've had a practice. Um, so don't forget to upload your data uh, by 9am next Tuesday, please. That's the 16th of April. Um, I will be checking online from Germany that everything's gone okay, but keep in mind that I will be uh, a number of hours behind you guys, okay? And I'll keep a little eye on it too, just in case Louise's internet goes completely haywire from Germany. Yeah. Unlikely though, in Germany, I'm thinking. Yeah. I would hope not, but yeah. sometimes you just never know what happens. Yeah. So don't don't panic. 
um, if something's not working for you, just send both Andrew and I an email at the time. But I don't think there should be any problems. We've used this approach um, before and, and it's all gone well. Uh, so I think that just wraps things up. We're more than halfway through the semester. I know already. Um, you're covering a lot of ground. Well done. Keep remembering to revise oh. and um, and ask questions if you're struggling with any of the concepts. Okay. Have a good week. See oh. ya. See ya. Bye.